Hi, this is Balaji from Vadakam, Germany. If you are living in Germany and have a mobile contract, credit card or the bank account, one person is watching you. This is nothing other than the Shufa. But who is this Shufa and how does this impact your life in Germany? In this video, we will dive into what Shufa is, how the Shufa score is calculated and what data is stored and how you can improve your credit score. So welcome once again. If you are new to this channel, make sure to subscribe to the channel to get regular updates. If you are ready, come let's get started As you all know, I also work as a personal loan insurance and investment consultant apart from my main job. If you are looking for a personal loan to buy a house in India or send money to India or use this money for any other personal purpose, you can get in touch with us. We will be able to help you in getting a personal loan with a better interest rate. We have tie-ups with multiple banks so that we get a better interest rate and we also support you with the process from A to Z at free of cost. If you want to know more in detail, kindly fill the form which is given in the description. Starting with the point. One, what is Shufa? Shufa or Schutzgemeinschaft for Allgemeine Credit Sicherung. This is a private commercial company in Germany that collects and stores information about all the individual's credit worthiness. Banks and other financial institutions use this information to determine whether to lend money to this individual or not. And what exactly does Shufa collect? Shufa doesn't know about your marital status, religion, your income or any kind of political affiliation. But it does collect your name, date of birth, current and previous addresses. It also stores information what the contractual partners report about you, such as the opening date of your Giro Conto, credit card, loan contracts, leasing information and so on. Shufa also stores some negative features such as payment defaults or any kind of judicial enforcement measures. This is very important. If you do any kind of payment default in the past, Shufa will be having this particular data and make a big red mark. Third point, how to get your Shufa score. You can get the Shufa Auskun for the free of cost every year from the Shufa website directly. In the description, you will find a blog where you can see how you can download the Shufa Auskun at free of cost. You may think this particular copy can be given to the landlords while searching for their house. Stop, stop. This is not possible. This copy is only for you to see what information are stored over there. You can order the free data copy according to the Art 15 Datum to Screen for Ordnung at any point of time. This will usually be sent to you by post within 7 days after ordering. In this document, you will also able to see your individual score, how good your credit worthiness is and few more informations. If you are looking for a copy which needs to be given to the landlord, then you need to download a Shufa Meter Selbst Auskunft. This is not free of cost. This document helps the landlords to check your individual credit worthiness, whether you will be paying the rent properly or not. So make sure that what document needs to be downloaded and which documents are requested by the corresponding party. Section four, how your Shufa score is calculated. A high Shufa score means good credit worthiness and a low risk of non-payment. You could also see a small pie chart showing the different scores. There are two scores calculated, the base score and the index steel score. The base score is a percentage value that expresses the statistical probability that a person will meet the payment obligations and industry scores are tailored to the needs and risk tolerance of different industries such as online trading or banks. The exact calculation behind the scores is still a secret. Even if you try to dig more in the Shufa website, you will not be able to find the algorithm which is used how they calculate the particular score. But the official Shufa website has also released a simulator how to see how your score is impacted by different scenarios. The good score is always somewhere above 95 percentage. However, each provider evaluates for itself whether and under what conditions want to do business with you. So this is why we cannot say at which particular Shufa score a deal is particularly made and which one does not. The provider always decides based on their company regulations. One very, very interesting point. 
if you're shifting houses regularly, this will also impact your Schiffer score. The reason is there are high costs involving while shifting the houses due to which there is a possibility for the payment defaults. This in turn is also reflected in the Schiffer score regardless of the reason for shifting your house. It's very simple that when a person is finding a new job in the new city, he has to really shift from place A to place B. And in the background, there will be many costs involved. You have to check out from the Umsuk's people, you have to paint the house, you need to buy the new stuff in the new house due to which there are many costs which are added on top of it. If you're a single person, still whatever you do, the reason behind this Shufa understands that you are shifting the house due to which there are many costs coming behind it. I mean, next point, where can I find my real score? You can opt for the free Darton copy one time every year, which I also explained a few minutes before, or else you can order it online directly in the shufa.de website. And you can also test this particular feature at free of charge for the first four weeks after signing up. This helps you to monitor your score regularly. This document can also be given to the third parties, but don't forget to cancel this particular free subscription before four weeks. If not, this will be extended to 12 months for which is a mandated duration. And if you miss to pay it, your Shufa score will be again impacted. Coming next section, how to improve your credit score. Very important, don't open multiple bank accounts or hold multiple credit cards. This is very common. Today I see that I'll be receiving a free credit card. I don't pay any kind of interest for that. But people opt multiple credit cards. If you're going to have two credit cards or three credit cards and five different bank accounts, obviously there will be impact in issue for score. So in my... My personal advice, have a maximum of two gyro konto and one credit cards. Pay your bills on time and avoid defaulting on multiple payments. During the student time, many people also used to avoid the ARDZ bill which they used to receive for their apartment. Make sure that there is no kind of backlog. If you have created any backlog, this will also impact your shoe first code. In turn, in the later stages, you can't even open a bank account or open a mobile contract or avail any kind of loan in Germany. Until the shoe first score is clear, this is no more possible for you. I mean, don't make any kind of payment defaults in the future. Another thing is, if you're planning to take any kind of loan, either a personal loan or housing loan, make sure to inform the bank or the loan official to do only a conditions and frage instead of a credit and frage. If you are doing a credit and frage, this can reduce your credit worthiness and lead to a declination of your loan and get or or get a loan with a higher interest rate. In other terms, one needs to tell the bank officials kindly do only the Shufa neutral and frage. This is very important because I am currently working as a personal loan consultant. Many people are coming to me to avail a personal loan. We are basically doing only the Shufa neutral and frage. But when they are looking for the personal loan, the interest rate always varies based on the individual's personal scenarios. So in simple, Shufa plays an important role in your financial life in Germany and it's important to understand how this works and how to improve your credit score. If you enjoyed watching this video, make sure to give a thumbs up and let me know your thoughts in the comment section what you thought about this video. I will catch you in one another interesting video. Until then, bye bye from Vanakam, Germany, Balaji.